All right, so next thing we're going to do, let's open up PyCharm. And re remember that old script we had for processing the New Jersey aerial imagery. Let's just copy all that and make a new script and call it uh, Landsat 8 Processor. And we're basically going to modify this. So first, let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. All I want to do now is just make sure I can connect to the bucket and loop through data. So we'll keep that VSIS3 path because that's useful. I don't need this. We'll keep the prefix, but we're not going to use it just yet. Um, so yeah, we need to get the bucket name. So if you remember, the bucket is Landsat dash PDS. All right. Um, instead of filtering right now, let's just say all, because we don't know what we're looking for yet. Okay, and then let's just print VSIS3 image path. So this is not getting used yet, but it, we'll just leave it in there for now. It's fine. Okay, cool. So you see we're getting a lot of data, and this isn't even imagery. We're getting CSV files. So you can tell there's, there's a lot of data, and we need to filter it down and whittle it down to what we're interested in. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to try to get to data that we want. So what we need to figure out is, like, where is a Landsat image we're interested in? So let's say I'm interested in getting imagery over, um, like, India. So let's, we need to figure out what row and path correlates to India. So if we Google that, <laughs> trusty old Google, we need to Google Landsat 8 um, shape files. Let's try that. So we're basically looking for uh, this, Landsat. I'm pretty sure this will be what we're looking for. I think it's going to be um, a shape file of like all the paths and rows. And this is descending, so I guess as the satellite moves throughout the day, it goes one direction and then it like goes the other direction. So there's actually two rows and paths for a given location. Maybe that makes sense. <laughs> so just download that file and then extract all. Okay, so now we have a shape file. So let's just drag that into Pro. So, make sure you grab the .shp file. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, let's make this um, see-through, because we don't know where we are right now. Oh, man, that's hard to see. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off for a second. Go back to where we're interested. Turn it on. Okay, so let's pick, like this tile. So if you click it, you'll see there's a path and a row associated with it. So if we use that path and row, that's what we want to filter for basically. So one fit, so path is 150, row is 45. So first before I move forward, let me copy this and put it in this notepad. So you, this is my notes page, so you guys can access this. And I also, I was playing around with this before, and there is like a, I found a tool to, um, to do it. Let me see if I can quickly find it. Um, Landsat 8, calculator maybe. Eh, I don't know where it went. I'll try to find it and link it. It was basically, you could do this on the internet. You didn't have to um, download a shape file. Oh wait, I think this might have been it. No, 
one sec. Here we go. This is it. Um, Landsat 8. Here we go. Convert path row to lat long. So we should, if we go to the same general area and click, there we go. Path 150, 45. So let me put this in the um, notepad too. So there's, there's just two different ways. All right. So let's go back to the code. And just for now, say path equals... What was it? 150 row equals 45. And let's actually make them strings. And if we go back to the um, this page, you see how the format here, there's three numbers. And if, if it's not all filled out, there's a zero. So we need to put a zero in front of um, this value. Okay. So let's, instead of objects all, let's now say filter and say prefix equals prefix. And we need to filter this down. Um, so if you look at the example of what one looks like, this is what objects look like. So we know the C1 is going to be the same, L8 is going to be the same. So we need to copy the, actually, let's just copy this. Paste that. And let's put these variables above here. And we're going to put the variables inside here. So you can put little curly braces in the string and then outside of this like at the end of the string just say dot format and now we can throw the variables in there so we want the path in the row is that the, the correct order let me check where did that page go yes path is first then row so Path is 150, path is 150. Alright, so I just say path row. And if you want, you could you could just type 045 and 150 here, or, or 150 slash 045, but I figured we'd just throw them in variables. So now I think when we run this, we should get back just uh, stuff that's over that place uh, in India. I think it's Gujarat. No, it didn't return anything. C1 prefix. Hmm. Something's not right with that, probably. Let me just try this, because I should definitely return this. So I'm actually temporarily just going to paste that in here. Why is it not printing? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't need that slash in the beginning. Because see how here I don't have the slash? Maybe that's it. All 
I should probably add the slash here. I might need to put that slash there. Okay, here we go. So you can see now we're we're only getting back stuff one that's in the path 150 row 045. So okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, all right, I'm going to stop the video here. It's getting a little long, but we're making some progress now.